بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Next question from Naushad Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum sir. Is using credit card halal? If you are talking about the conventional credit card, where where the bank gives you permission that you can utilize X amount of money depending upon the credit card, whether it is bronze level, silver level, gold level, depending upon the amount, some give you few thousand dollars, some give ten thousand dollars, some give forty thousand dollars, depending upon the level. And this money that you utilize, you have to give within one or two months. And if you give that, then there is no interest. If you give above that, then there is an exorbitant interest which goes to up to maybe three percent a month. That is thirty-six percent. Anywhere from two to three percent a month. That is twenty-four to thirty-six percent a year, which is exorbitant. And I know there are some scholars who say that if you are using a credit card, as long as you see to it, you pay within the stipulated time, within the one month or two month frame, and no interest is that's permitted. I disagree with it. It is totally haram. The moment you take a credit card from a conventional bank, you are signing a document saying that if you do not pay it in time, you will give riba. Signing a document that you will pay riba is also haram. Allah and His Rasul will wage a war against you. So even using a credit card with the intention that you will not take longer than the time permitted, I know. Majority of the Muslims living in Western countries, in America, in European countries, in UK, have a credit card from a conventional bank. Majority, unfortunately, I know there are scholars of the Western countries that need permission. It is hundred percent totally haram. All the major scholars, whether it be Sheikh Uthaimin, whether it be Sheikh Bin Baz, majority have said even having a credit card of conventional bank is haram because you are signing. And who can give guarantee that you will always pay on time? You are a human being. You can make a mistake. If once also you forget to pay on time, it is haram. Allah and the Rasul wage war against you. Even if you pay on time regularly, only signing a document is haram. So using a credit card of a conventional bank is totally haram. I am aware there are some scholars that have given permission. I disagree with them. What you can do is you can have a credit card from Islamic bank. If it is Islamic bank. You can have a credit card. The other what you can do is have a debit card. Debit card means the money is already in your account. That you are not signing a document saying that you pay interest. So debit card in a conventional bank is permitted. Credit card in a conventional bank is haram. However, credit card in the Islamic bank is permitted because it works on the Islamic principles, on the Sharia basis. There is no riba involved in this. So the best option is have a credit card in Islamic bank. The second option is have a debit card. In a conventional bank, which does not attract any interest, but credit card in a conventional bank is haram. It's a major sin. It is equivalent to doing zina with your mother. That's what a prophet said. It is clearly mentioned in Mustadak al Hakim, Hadith number two two five nine, that there are seventy three levels of riba. The lowest level is doing zina with your mother, and it's clearly mentioned in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter two, verse number two seventy two seventy nine. That if you give up not the demands of riba, take notice of a vow from Allah and His Rasul. So I request all the Muslims in any part of the world, if you have a credit card from any of the conventional bank, please today itself, if not today tomorrow, please discontinue it. Open an Islamic bank. If you don't have Islamic bank, convert it into a debit card. Debit card is permissible when there is no riba involved. Hope that answers the question.